We are entering a brave new research world, where open research practices are becoming a requirement nationally and internationally. Sharing data is an important part of this, but deciding what data to share can be tricky. But before I begin, let me stop you. The rest of this video assumes that you are familiar with the FAIR guiding principles for research data management and what is involved in making research data findable, accessible, interoperable and reusable. And now you want help deciding what data goes where and what is made FAIR. If you're not familiar with the FAIR principles, please watch FAIR in 5 minutes, which is also on this website. At the end, or even during a research project, you can accumulate a daunting amount of research records, documentation and data. Maintaining it all as an amorphous mass can be difficult in terms of management and access. In UCC, all research data must be kept for a minimum of 10 years post-project for audit purposes. Some of your research data can be made fair and preserved long term for reuse and audit in a data repository. But the rest of it, the data and records that won't be made fair and shared, this too needs to be maintained, but for a limited retention period, a 10-year minimum period. Distinguishing which category each of your research outputs and records fit into is your first task, and this decision needs to be made as early as possible in the research process to enable you to capture the data in such a way that it facilitates your decision. Keeping records and data for audit purposes and in line with the UCC Code of Research Conduct is the responsibility of the principal investigator on the project, or in the case of a student, their supervisor. Deciding what fits into this category can be tricky, but some likely outputs might include records of your research that don't contribute to the research findings, such as financial records, data collected which is flawed or does not contribute to the primary findings, and other artefacts of research which would inform an audit, such as signed consent forms, but would not contribute to the scholarly record or ever be reusable. Deciding what data should be made fair can also be difficult, but there are some guidelines we can follow. It is fast becoming a requirement of funding bodies and journal editors that any underlying data should be made fair post-project or at publication. This means that the information, data, documentation and code used as the basis or foundation of any publication or primary finding should, where possible, be made persistently available to fellow researchers in accordance with the FAIR principles. As far as data produced that does not directly underlie a publication, there can also be real value in making these data fair and available for reuse. It may be that the, it is a large data set and there are further aspects to be investigated, but this is not allowed for in the original project budget or time frame. Maybe it is a data set that would be difficult to recreate or collect again in the future. Maybe it can be linked with other data to create a new data resource. Or maybe it's a null result. And while these seldom make it into publications, they are of interest. The type and format of the data you will share will depend on your discipline. There is a wide spectrum of research outputs from software and code to performances in music. Research data can be defined as any information that has been collected, absorbed, observed, generated or created to validate original research findings. So cast your net wide when considering what outputs from your project to share. Ideally all research projects should be working towards fair data outputs from the beginning and with a good data management plan sharing your data at the end of a project can be relatively straightforward. However, fair data does take time and effort, and sometimes when both of those are in short supply at the end of the project. And for that input, you should select your data for verification with the maximum returns in mind. There is evidence that publications with available underlying data have a higher citation impact. So you should consider which data sets are most likely to be reused, which are useful for verification of your publications, and which are of most use to the wider research community. And here are a few more key questions to ask before you share any data. Do you have the legal right to share the data? Who owns the data that you have been working with? 
Did you get consent to allow it to be shared post-project? And do you have the documentation and metadata to make the data interoperable and reusable? And if you don't have it, can you get it or create it? It should also be remembered that the FAIR principles are flexible and adaptable. They allow for temporary embargoes, closed repositories and access conditions if you have data that can't be completely open. So even data sets that need to be protected, such as commercially sensitive information or the location of endangered species, or data which can't be openly distributed due to a risk of re-identification, can be made fair and available for use under controlled conditions. So if you can break your da own data down into discrete packages, you can begin to select what to share and what not to share. A data management plan is the best way to start this process. It will also help you ensure you have documented and maintained all the metadata and documentation and other artifacts of research required to share a data set in a useful and fair way. And it reduces the workload at the end of the project when it's time to share the data. And what about the other records and data that won't be made readily available for future research purposes? Having selected which content can reasonably and usefully be made fair, a data management plan also allows you to capture how best to retain and ultimately dispose of this other material in line with codes of conduct, legal requirements and general records management retention schedules. For more information or one-to-one -one advice, please contact the Research Data Service in UCC Library. Thank you for listening.